Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today I want to take you on a little walking tour of downtown here in Dallas, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today, the plan is simple. I wanna take you on a little walking tour to show you cool locations just like this one. So if that interests you, come with me. We are starting our walking tour right here in front of Ferris Plaza, this little green space area behind me. Just for your reference, uh, Ferris Plaza is located right in front of the train station here in downtown. Just so you know, it is that building right there in the background. And I think you can already tell why I wanted to bring you here in the first place. Of course, guys, I'm talking about that structure in the background. That right there is Reunion Tower. Reunion Tower is one of the most popular tourist destinations to visit here in downtown Dallas. And it is also one, if not the most recognizable structures in the Dallas city skyline. And I mean, you can easily see why. I don't know about you guys, but to me it looks just like a ball on top of a stick. So it's kind of hard to miss. Reunion Tower is basically Dallas's version of the Space Needle. At least that's the easiest way that I can put it. You can go all the way to the top to check out the views of the city. You can eat there. There's actually a restaurant up there. And uh, you can also take part of a variety of different events that are hosted by Reunion Tower. I am actually making a video about Reunion Tower tomorrow, so I cannot wait for that. Uh, we're actually going up there during the day and during the night, which is something that you can do here. I'll tell you more about that in the next video, so stay tuned if you want to check that out. So some of the shots you saw, I actually took right next to the train station, uh, that building right there. From here, you can get an amazing vantage point of Reunion Tower. It's only across the street, so I strongly recommend. Now, let's move to the next location. Up next, you guys, I wanna show you the Dallas County Courthouse, this building behind me over here. I wanted to come here for no reason other than the fact that this place looks really cool and interesting. The courthouse reminds me of some sort of like castle that you would typically find in Europe. So seeing it right here in the middle of Dallas, it's kind of interesting and also a great opportunity to take some cool pictures. As you can see, we are still very close to Reunion Tower. It's right there in the background. You only have to walk a few blocks and you'll make your way to the courthouse right here. So check it out if you get a chance. Now let's go ahead and move to our next location. Moving on you guys, we arrive here at Pioneer Plaza. If you search online for what to do here in the city of Dallas, taking a picture in this plaza will probably be on the list. And let me show you why. Pioneer Plaza commemorates the beginnings of the city of Dallas and it is also the home of a very popular sculpture or collection of sculptures. I'm not sure if it is considered to be one or multiple of them. The plaza features plants and trees that are native to the region and also a flowing stream. And if you're lucky, you can also catch some wildlife. Check it out, I think those are ducks taking a shower. The sculpture itself is a recreation of a cattle drive. It shows longhorn steers, which are themselves a symbol of Texas, being driven by three cowboys. Also another symbol of the state of Texas. The last thing I wanna do here at Pioneer Plaza is visit that little hill up there to see what kind of use we can get 
from there. And as we make our way up there and through the cattle, which is something that I find really cool, that you actually have to dive so that you don't get stabbed by one of these horns. One fun fact that I wanna share with you about this place is that this is the second most famous landmark to visit here in Dallas. And it is second only to Dealey Plaza. Some of you might be wondering, what is in Dealey Plaza that makes it the number one spot? Well, let me tell you, that is the site of John F. Kennedy's assassination. For those of you who are out of the country, he was the 35th president of the United States and he was assassinated. And his assassination is covered in controversy and conspiracy theories. I am going to do a video on Dealey Plaza and I can tell you from right now that I will try my best uh, to cover it in a sensitive way and also show you what there is to do there if you choose to visit yourself. So stay tuned for that video in the channel. Oh my goodness guys, I was getting tired but I finally made it up here. Here is the cowboy that lives at the top of this hill. He's looking stoically down at the cattle drive that he's leading or that's what I'm guessing is happening here. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. Although I think the best pictures you can actually get from the bottom up just because there's some trees that block your way. Just something to consider. All right, you guys, I think we're done here in Pioneer Plaza. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head down and also to our next location. Up next, you guys, we are visiting another very popular sculpture here in downtown Dallas. Let me introduce you to the giant eyeball. There you go, guys, just as advertised, a giant eyeball just standing right there. It is on private property, so you can't get closer than this, but it is still really cool to watch from a distance. Some fun facts about this sculpture, it is located right outside of the, and forgive me if I'm butchering this pronunciation, the Shranky Jewel Hotel, just in case you want to check it out. Number two, it is said to be modeled after the artist's own eyeball. Weird. Number three, it was first placed in St. Louis, but then it was purchased by the hotel and placed right here. The last one, a lot of people try to give this sculpture a deeper meaning, but the creator himself is quoted saying that he just quote unquote, wanted to make something awesome. And that is exactly what he did in my opinion. I mean, this sculpture is very popular around these parts for a reason. So definitely check it out. One of the best things that you can do when you visit a big city like Dallas is to look up. I can assure you that you will be surprised by some of the views you'll get of the high rises in the area. I'll share with you some examples. That right there, you guys, the building on the left, of course, is the Bank of America Plaza. It is 921 feet in height, which makes it the tallest skyscraper in the city of Dallas. It also makes it the third tallest in the state of Texas and the 40th tallest in the United States. Again, right here, look to the left of your screen. That building is the Renaissance Tower. It sits at 886 feet in height, which makes it the second tallest skyscraper in the city of Dallas, the fifth tallest in Texas, and the 47th tallest in the United States. And finally, we arrived at our last feature of today. That right there in the middle is the Comerica Bank Tower. It sits at 787 feet in height, which makes it the third tallest skyscraper in the city of Dallas, the sixth tallest in the state of Texas, and the 61st tallest in the United States. So there you go, guys. As you've been able to see, the views here are amazing. And best of all, free and just like that you guys this video has come to an end hopefully you enjoy this little walking tour of downtown and all the little places that i showed you if you enjoyed this video as much as i did i'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one and i just want to remind you to always be kind 
have an open mind. I'll see you next time.